Um, you're not a member of this club, are you? Do you know him, Yamagishi-san? Oh, yes. He's the one I was just telling you about. Ah, so he's the one, huh? I've heard a lot about you from Yamagishi-san. We're looking for new members to join our club, so I mentioned you. I'm really happy you decided to stop by on your own. And, um, I'm Keisuke Hiraga. Pleased to meet you. He should be the one introducing himself to you, Keisuke-senpai. You're the club leader, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Still the same as ever. Yamagishi-san is back, and now we're getting a new member. Maybe I should be a little more active here. Wait, aren't you a third year, Hiroga-senpai? Don't you have entrance exams coming up? No, I, uh... Don't worry about that. Hey, do you have an eye for art? Not to worry. You don't have to be a professional artist to join this club. I mean, I'm just a beginner, and I'm the club leader. Meeting you like this can't be just a coincidence. It must be fate. Let's get you signed up, shall we? Just so you know, only club members are allowed to enter this room. So don't forget to turn in your registration form. The art club meets on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. But we don't meet on the days leading up to exams. We should be studying then anyway. You don't have to come every day, so just try to show up every now and then. Who would have thought we'd end up in the same club? Okay, I'll get this all processed. Looking forward to painting with you. Let's wrap up for today. Good work, everyone. Whew, all done. All right, let's clean up and go home. Anything to worry about. You should really figure out what's causing the pain. It might lead to serious complications down the road. Does anywhere else hurt? Are your nose and throat all right? Does it feel like your head is in a vice? Oh boy, here we go. Case Case and Bye strikes again. Namakishi san won't be going anywhere for a while. someone isn't feeling well, he always tries to figure out what's wrong. And it doesn't matter when or where. Once he starts, it takes forever. Keisuke Senpai's dad's the director of a big hospital, and he's an only child. I guess he just can't stand to see people suffer. I bet he'll end up going to medical school. So the pain's originating from the back of your head? Could you turn around, please? Ah, don't worry. It's just a chronic tension-type headache. Most likely the result of stress. You might be spending too much time in front of the computer. Try to get outside and exercise more. It must seem funny to get medical advice from the head of the art club. I was worried I'd come down with the flu or something. In that case, I can do a more thorough check. Could you remove your shirt? Also, open your mouth and stick out your tongue. What? Uh, that's okay. I'm fine. Besides, our dorm isn't far, so he can accompany me back. Uh, sorry, sorry. Wait, you two live in the dorms? I guess I see it in Yamagishi-san. She seems like the well-adjusted type. I bet you're a great cook. 
Do you take care of the laundry? Is living alone hard? Oh, sorry, Yamagishi-san. I forgot about your condition. I know it's close, but I don't think you should be walking home. Why don't I call you a taxi? Though a bumpy taxi ride might make your headache worse. Maybe a limousine would be better. Uh, that's okay. I'm fine, really. Everyone, attention please. I have an announcement regarding the recent Bay Area Art Contest. Hiraga-kun's painting was selected for consideration in the final round. Huh? Wow! Your piece was really good. You might even win. Please, it's all thanks to my paintbrush. I was lucky to use my dad's quality raccoon hair one. It really helped apply the paint to the canvas. So, I'm sure that's the only reason the judges even noticed. Thank you. But I've only been painting for about two years now. So I never imagined my piece would go so far. You should have more confidence in yourself. You've been practicing so hard. He's right. Everyone knows how late you stay. Thanks, guys. But I should be supporting all of you. Not the other way around. I'm sorry. I should be setting a better example for new members like you. I may not be much of an artist or a leader, but I hope we can keep working to improve our skills together. I've come this far. I might as well continue this for as long as I can. Oh, look at the time. Time to head home, everyone. How do I convince him? Why am I... I feel kind of weak. Your breathing is impaired, and your lips are pale. Did you get enough sleep last night? And what do you usually have for lunch? Uh, now that I think about it, I, I didn't eat breakfast today. Mm-hmm. I see. Just as I thought. Looks like anemia. Probably from an unbalanced diet. It must be all the fast food. I recommend adding more shellfish to your diet, like oyster and abalone. They're packed with iron and easy to cook. Don't call me that. This is just common sense. Being the son of a doctor doesn't have anything to do with it. I'll take him to the nurse's office. You guys should head on home. Maybe it'd be better if I just quit. The club would probably be fine without me. Besides, I, I don't think I'm cut out to be an artist. How long have you been here? Did you hear everything? Yeah, well, I guess you did hear everything, huh? My dad told me to quit the art club. He said I need to study more and concentrate on my future. When I told him I was a finalist in the contest, I thought he'd be proud. But all he said was that I was wasting my time. He said it's my responsibility to take over the hospital because I'm his only son. My dad doesn't care about me. He only cares about his stupid hospital. And it's not just him either. Just because my dad's a doctor, everyone expects me to be one too. I have my own dreams too, you know. I can't stand it anymore. No, I don't want that. 
It's my life, and I want to live it my way. <sighs> Sorry. I figured it out. I'm going to make a bet with my dad. If I don't win the contest, then I'll quit the club just like he wants me to. But if I win, then I can do whatever I want. And as soon as I get home, I'm going to convince him. Do you mind keeping this under wraps? I don't want anyone worrying that I might quit the art club. So let's just keep this between us, okay? letting the art club know that I'll be taking the day off? I want to have the talk with my dad today. Well, see you later. Everyone, attention please. It seems the painting Haraga Kun submitted to the contest really caught the eyes of the judges. And while it's highly unusual, they're going to reserve an award spot just for you, Hiraga Kun. Huh? I don't think I understand. What does that mean? It means you're guaranteed an award. At best, you'll receive first place. At worst, an honorable mention. The judges were impressed with your shading techniques and said you crafted a masterwork of realism. Congratulations, Hiraga-kun! Hey, way to go! This is the art club's first real achievement. Wait, then... that means... Yeah, that's right! He promised me! He said I could do whatever I want if I won. So this means I don't have to listen to him anymore, right? We should all do something special to celebrate. Yeah, that would be fun. Thanks, everybody. Especially you. I'm sorry if I made you worry. Let's go. You're celebrating with us, right? to interrupt the fun. But Hiraga-kun, I'd like to fill you in on a few details. But don't worry, it shouldn't take long. The rest of you can wait outside the faculty office if you'd like. Well, Hiraga-kun, one of the judges saw a lot of potential in you as an artist and had an offer for you. If you're interested, they'd be willing to help arrange for you to study abroad. <laughs> How does that sound? Study abroad? Me? As an artist? Wow! As an overseas? Hiroka senpai is amazing! Hey, are you guys from the art club? Have you seen Hiraga? Um, he's in the faculty office now for... Hiraga! I've been looking everywhere for you! Mikarin just fainted! Come quick! Huh? Oh, okay, got it. I'll be right there. I'm very sorry, but I'll need some time to think about this. He says he doesn't want to be a doctor. But he just can't ignore people in need. That's how he is. A doctor's son with such an eye for art. I never thought I'd be so jealous of a student. I don't think anyone's in the mood to celebrate now. I'll let everyone know what happened. You can head off now if you'd like. Hey, do you have some time to chat after art club? Everyone's working so hard. Is that what it seems like to you? That I'm working hard? Well, 
I told my dad about studying abroad. He said I should give it a try. And just the other day, he was telling me to quit. He's always wanted me to be a doctor till now. So for him to say that, I just don't know what to think. Yeah, that's true. But at the same time, if I study abroad, it kind of feels like I'm doing it because that's what my dad wants. <sighs> Thanks. This has been eating me up for a while, and it feels good to talk about it. You're really the only one I can talk to about this stuff. It's great that you've always made your own decisions. Not like me, though. Sorry, we should get going. My driver's picking me up, so I can have him drop you off near your dorm if you want. Hey, sorry, but I need your advice again. Let's meet up after art club like we did the other day. Um, don't tell anyone else about this, okay? I'm still torn on studying abroad. My dad's trying to make all my decisions for me. He chose the school I'd go to, the dorm I'd live in, he even bought my plane ticket already. And I haven't actually agreed to go through with it yet either. He's been like this ever since we argued about the art club. It's like he's suddenly trying to be more understanding. It's weird. Well, being a doctor is something I think about a lot. If I do end up studying abroad now and become an artist, there's no turning back, is there? Then I could never be a doctor. My teachers, my friends, and especially you. Everyone's been so supportive, and I know what you must be thinking. A chance to study abroad? What an opportunity! Sorry, it seems like all I ever do is complain to you, but I always feel a lot better after talking to you, so thanks. Now I don't even know what I really want to do. In times like this, I turn to the heavens. I have to head to the bookstore. You can go on without me. I'm buying a fortune-telling book and reading the whole thing in one night. Let's see. On cleaning duty today is... Yuraga senpai and you. Thanks for your help. All right, we're out of here. Okay, let's make this quick. This room's smaller than my bedroom, but it's still surprisingly big. Let's take a break. So, I've decided that I'm going to study abroad. To be honest, I'm not really excited about it. But I already told my teacher I don't want to be a doctor, so... <sighs> Do you want something to drink? It's on me. I almost forgot. Did you want something cold? Or maybe... Hey! Look out! Hey! hey hang in there. in there! Can you hear me? You're awake! Oh, thank goodness. I kept calling your name, but you wouldn't wake up, so I... I don't see any cuts on your head, so I don't think you'll need stitches. Can you remember your name? Case... Hey, that's me! Come on, that's not funny! Well, your pupils aren't dilated, so I don't think you have a concussion. I was worried that when you fell, you hit your head or your face, and I... Anyway, do you remember what happened? The box. I was the one who put it up there, 
We have a maid who cleans our house, so I don't do much cleaning myself. And I just got lazy and put it up there. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry. All I could think about was what would happen if you didn't wake up. I was so scared. I felt so helpless seeing my friend in trouble and not being able to do anything. I'm not a doctor. You're really tough. Miss Toriyumi told me about what happened to your parents, but me? My parents are always there when I get home. Maybe I take them for granted. You know, seeing you lying there, I think I understood what it must feel like to lose someone close to you. Do I want to be a doctor? But I'd be doing exactly what my dad wants. Uh, sorry, we should get going. Can you walk? Here, you can lean on me. Hey, can we step out for a bit? I want you to come to the station with me. I'll tell you more there. Sorry to make you come all the way here. I, um, suddenly have no idea what to do with my life anymore. Do I want to be a doctor, or do I want to be an artist? I've decided to do a little soul searching, and I won't go back home or to school until I figure it out. I haven't figured out exactly where I'll go, but it has to be somewhere away from home. I've got plenty of money. I may have taken my dad's credit card from his wallet. I'm glad we had a chance to talk before I left. Tell the others I said goodbye. Don't say that. You're gonna make this harder for me. Promise me you'll take care of yourself. <coughs> Ma'am, are you alright? That cough. She's having trouble breathing and she's running a fever. This is bad. I may be jumping to conclusions here, but sorry about this. I knew it. She's a smoker. This is really bad. I think she suffers from chronic bronchitis. So if she caught a cold, it may have exacerbated the symptoms. Call an ambulance. Hurry! We'll leave the rest to the paramedics. Well... I better get going. My chest! Sir, are you okay? My train's about to leave. What should I do? All right, then I'll... I'll go ask the station attendant to call an ambulance. You stay here and perform first aid on him. Someone. Wait, I think he's going into cardiac arrest. Um, let's sit him in an upright position. Oh no, he's breathing and signs of cyanosis. I have to do something. I have to, or this man will die. I need your help. Lay him down on his back, gently. Now, if I perform CPR while giving him a cardiac massage, At least I helped him as much as I could. Thank you. I don't think I would have had the confidence on my own. I'm really glad you were here with me. You both saved their lives. <sighs> I 
think I'll go back home. I finally know what I really want. That said, I'm not looking forward to apologizing to my dad. All right, then. I'll see you at school. Everyone, listen up. As of today, I am quitting the club. I'd like a new club leader to be chosen from the second years. Oh, why? Where's this coming from? I have to study for my entrance exams. Wait, so then... I'm going to med school, getting my license, and becoming a doctor. Did your dad say you had to quit because you have to take over the hospital? My dad has nothing to do with this. I made this decision for myself. I'm going to have to turn down the opportunity to study abroad. And since I'm so behind on my studies, I'll have to pull a lot of all-nighters to catch up. I really enjoyed leading the club. So thank you all for everything. There's something different about you, Keisuke Senpai. You seem way more confident. Hey, you're giving me too much credit. Hey, can we talk upstairs? After today, we won't be able to chat like this anymore. Which is why I wanted to give this to you now. This arrived yesterday. It turns out I earned an honorable mention. But the top prizes ended up going to a couple other artists. It made me realize I still have a lot to learn. Like mastering the basics for starters. Studying for the med school entrance exams is going to be hard. And this would only distract me. That's why I want you to have it. Thanks. Funny how it seems like I'm always asking you for favors. Even though I'm older than you. Remember how we helped those people at the station? They all have important people in their lives. Just like how you're an important person in my life. If they had died, they never would have gotten to be with those people again. So that's why I'm becoming a doctor. Uh, I'm not coming off as arrogant, am I? <laughs> See? I can be the reliable one sometimes too, you know? I did used to be the club leader after all. It feels like I went in a huge circle and ended up right back where I started. And I know it might look like it, but I'm not doing this because my dad's a doctor. I'm doing this because I want to be a doctor. And if you ever need an emergency operation, I'll oversee the surgery myself. I mean, if I keep you alive, we get to spend more time together. is everything. It's best if you never even have to see a doctor. Do you get the proper nutrients living in the dorm? Let's pick up something healthy for you to eat on the way home. 